Hey, it's Greg on here with MaritimeGardener.com, and I'm sitting here in the middle of all my kale. It's early October, and I've got plenty of kale, and I'm going to be harvesting this well into uh, December. And uh, of all the things that I grow in my garden, the kale seems to be the most uh, beset by pests. Uh, in the spring, I've got slug, snail, and the flea beetle problems. And later in the summer, I get uh, the uh, cabbage moth, the white fly showing up. I can see some cabbage moth poop right here. I don't know where, oh, there he is right there. There's a cabbage moth right there. Squish. Yeah. So, uh, but I mean, we're into October now and we're getting frost, so that's pretty much over. You know, I'm not worried about it right now. I'm not going to bother treating anything. But that brings me to the point, you know, I, uh, you know, different people have different issues. Uh, I've grown kale for years, and it wasn't until about at this location, uh, five years ago, I started getting problems with all those things. I never had this problem before, and uh, and I never used any products in my garden. Uh, but I, I found I had to resort to something here, and the uh, product line that I ended up going to um, was the uh, the Safer's product line. And they're one of my sponsors. I mean. I get a small amount of money, it's not, it's not, it's not to quit the day job on, but I get a small amount of money uh, from Safers to help go towards the cost of producing my podcast, which, which does cost money for me to, uh, to, to, to provide right, in terms of the hosting service and all that sort of stuff. And I just, you know, a little bit of kickback for my time. Um, but the arrangement they have with me is pretty hands-off. I mean, all I have to do is say, brought to you by Safer's gardening products at the beginning of my podcast. That's really all I have to do. Um, so, I mean, I'm not doing this video because they gave me thousands of dollars, but I'm just saying that the only reason I have a decent yield of kale, generally speaking, in my garden, at least for the last few years, and, and some years are better than others, is because I, 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 I treat these early in the spring a little bit with some of their products. Um, in the spring, when the uh, flea beetles are a problem, I, I spray this on the little baby plants, right? This, uh, this is uh, their Trounce product. I don't even know if it's available in Canada, but the one thing that, that is available in Canada is the uh, Safer's End All, uh, which I also use. I, I had a bottle like this that Safer's gave me, and I used about a third of it and gave it to one of my neighbors who had a real problem in his garden, and I tried using the Trounce. It, uh, I find they're both basically the same thing in terms of effectiveness. I don't really understand the, the difference in the, uh, the chemical makeup of them. They're both pyrethrin based. You know, it's a, it's a chemical compound that's derived from chrysanthemums. Um, it, it seems to be really good at mitigating the flea beetles. Uh, when, the, when the plants are really young and they're really small, flea beetles can really uh, set them back, um, if not stunt them. So uh, you have to be, uh, if, you have that, if you have them in your garden, um, you do have to uh, uh, mitigate that. I know there's going to be people say, well, you just need ducks. Look, I live, I don't live in a, a place where you can have ducks in your backyard. <laughs> okay, and a lot of people don't. Uh, so, I mean, that's a great suggestion if you're somewhere rural and you're, you're in a situation where your entire family is, is engaged in your garden and you're going to have ducks. Um, but for a lot of people, those solutions really aren't <laughs> feasible. Um, so you just spray a little bit of this on, and uh, you know all, all this. The Safer's line of products, they're they're designed, they're chosen uh, with the uh, with the organic gardener in mind, right? The gardener that uh, you know, wants a garden that's uh, uh, environmentally friendly, sustainable, and all that sort of stuff. They want to be able to say their their stuff is organic, but you got a problem that's so bad that it's uh, risking your entire yield. Um, so for the home gardener anyway, I, I, I find these things work great. I mean, this thing is probably this full. That's how little of it I had to use. And this is the, you know, I, I've gotten the, the big thing of concentrate from them, and that probably last years. Uh, they sent me a big box of stuff this year, and uh, I'd be surprised if I need any more. <laughs> Don't tell little them this, but uh, <laughs> it probably lasts me years, because I find it's only when the plants are really little that they, um, uh, are susceptible to flea beetles. Once they're this size, I don't worry about uh, this stuff. Um, and um, the slugs can be a problem, but I, I, this isn't as good on them as the uh, slug and snail killer. You put a bit of that around, and it basically knocks, you know, it, it solves your slug problem. One small amount of that in your garden will, at least where I am, and I get about three different species of slug here and, and different kinds of snails, um, it seems to just 
make them gone for a couple weeks. <laughs> and if the plants aren't lar large enough to withstand slug damage, you, you hit it again with that stuff. Uh, and it breaks down to, uh, you know, components that are, uh, aren't really a problem. Um, so, uh, but I haven't used any of those products for months, right? I haven't needed to use anything. I, I gave them all one shot of BTK um, around, I can't remember now, maybe early August. Uh, and that's, it might have been July. I think it was August. I gave them to all the kale a big blast of BTK. BTK. That's the three products I, I use from Safers regularly is, is their uh, Trounce or Endol. They're, they're both basically the same kind of thing. The BTK, which is a bacteria that kills caterpillars. Uh, it's very specific. And the Slug and Snail Killer. So I use the, the spray in uh, the spring when everything's small and you can't take uh, predation from pests. I use the Slug and Snail Killer uh, early, when again, when things are small. And then I don't bother using them at all for the rest of the season. And then when the white fly come around, um, you could get away with just using this. Uh, even a garden my size, 2,500 square feet, you could probably treat them using this. Um, but I find the BTK is a bit more effective because they eat it and they all die. <laughs> so <laughs> it seems to be the better, the better option in my opinion anyway. So anyway, just a little uh, video on that. Uh, if you do have a real problem with pests in your garden, especially growing kale, um, uh, if you were going to get one thing, I'd get a bottle of this Trounce or End All uh, from Safers. And I, I've got a um, coupon code in my description box that you can use to get, I think, a 10% discount on that if you buy it online. Um, if you're going to get more than one thing, I would get this and the slug bait. And uh, of course, if you want to go all out and spend an extra 15 bucks, uh, get a thing of that BTK. Uh, one little thing of that will last you probably a lifetime. It comes in a little bottle, but uh, to mix up like a gallon of the spray, you use like a teaspoon, right? So you don't need a lot. So one little bottle of that is going to last you years and years and years and years. Uh, especially if when you treat it, when you treat the whole garden, you do it thoroughly, right? You, you hammer everything. Make sure every inch of the plant is, is, is covered in it. And um, do it just before sundown. So because the light breaks it down. It breaks down very quickly. They say even if you mix it up, it... Uh, basically becomes useless within 12 hours. So, I mean, you have to use it right away and sun breaks it down. So you spray it on right at sunset because that's what tends to be when the caterpillars go to work. They don't like coming out during the daylight because birds will get them. Uh, so you do it right before sunset, hammer the whole thing. And uh, within 24 hours, all your caterpillars will be dead and all of the BTK will just be broken down and, uh, and your, your plants can go back to growing like crazy. <laughs> So anyway, I hope that was uh, useful. Uh, I don't do too many uh, uh, shameless promotions type things uh, in my garden. I'm really kind of just thanking them for their support. And, um, you know, I, I can't stand when gardeners use things and then act like they just did it all through organic magic. Um, most of my stuff does grow <laughs> through... <laughs> most of my garden does, does grow that way. But with kale... Uh, uh, really wouldn't have a, a decent kale garden without these uh, products to mitigate the damage from the pests because the, the, at least the varieties I grow, uh, none of them seem to be uh, resistant to those things when they're really young. Uh, and of course the uh, uh, white flies, uh, they love them when they're mature. So I hope you found that useful and if, uh, if, if you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. Sponsored by Safer's Gardening Products. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.